So after watching the most recent episode of Dragon Ball Super, the epic one-hour special which featured the long-awaited fight between Goku and Jiren, I was left with some lingering questions. The fight between the two was in fact epic, and it allowed us to witness Jiren's immense and seemingly unstoppable power firsthand, as not even Goku's new form was capable of defeating him before his stamina had depleted. Jiren is definitely primed to be the biggest obstacle in this tournament, and while his power is certainly impressive, I couldn't help wondering about his motivations. Why is Jiren actually fighting in this tournament? Is it simply for altruistic purposes, or does he have his own ulterior motives? Jiren is the leader of the Pride Troopers, who serve as protectors of Universe 11, so it makes sense for him to want to defend his universe. However, we haven't heard Jiren talk about this, or even if this is his actual motivation for why he fights. Perhaps Jiren is a lot like Goku, always seeking out the ultimate fight and pushing himself past any previous limitations. He could have possibly used the Pride Troopers for this purpose, and the tournament could be his excuse to face the ultimate warriors of other universes before they're erased. This could also tie into Jiren's demeanor in the tournament thus far, as he's shown no fear against his opponents, waited for Goku to hit him with his ultimate attack, the Spirit Bomb, and went right toward Goku's transformation, ready to fight his new form. In this way, Jiren could be fighting for the sake of the ultimate fight, as Krillin put it, like a true warrior or martial artist. However, there is also the possibility that Jiren has motives of an even grander scale, as the winning fighters or MVP of their team will not only remain unerased, but will also receive a wish on the Super Dragon Balls. And I could only wonder what someone like Jiren could want to wish for. Perhaps this is how Belmod, the god of destruction from Universe 11, and convinced Jiren to join his team to begin with. After all, the Super Special seemed to confirm that Jiren is either on the level of or stronger than his own god of destruction, Belmod, which was foreshadowed earlier in the arc. So in this case, Belmod couldn't force Jiren to do anything, and Jiren would hold all of the leverage. Additionally, in Episode 109 of Super, while Jiren was walking toward Goku ready to finally fight, Topo stated that they were fighting for Jiren's wish to obtain the Super Dragon Balls, which seems to confirm this idea. So if this truly is the case, and Jiren is fighting to obtain the Super Dragon Balls for himself, what will Jiren wish for if he wins? Would he follow suit on the ideals of justice and wish for evil to be rid from his universe or even all remaining universes? As we saw with Zamas, the concept of justice can be very different based upon your perspective, so what Jiren views as evil could be different from what the other characters do. It's it's also possible that Jiren will be disappointed in the caliber of fighters from the tournament and wish for someone even stronger to appear and face him. This is another wish that could be cool to see, but also likely problematic for everyone if the fighter ends up being yet another villain. It's also possible that Jiren will do the unexpected and make a heroic gesture, and use the Super Dragon Balls to save those who have been erased. If Jiren wins, all the universes but 11 would be erased by Zeno, including our main universe of Universe 7. But as we know, Goku and friends are still alive at the end of Dragon Ball Z, which takes place after this tournament. So maybe that will be Jiren's wish, to undo what Zeno has done, and if bringing the universes back is impossible, then maybe he'll transport the losers to his universe along with their worlds and inhabitants. After all, a universe is a very large place, and Universe 7, for example, only has 28 inhabited planets. And if Universe 11's after life is anything like Universe 7's, I'm sure there's plenty of room to spare there as well. But I can only imagine what would happen if Jiren's intentions are actually malicious, and his wish is used for evil. Given just how powerful Jiren is, if he used his wish for evil, there's no telling what kind of terror he could inflict. And if Jiren wins the tournament, there might be no one left who could stop him. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so you could see all of my content right away when it comes out. Yeah, and you better subscribe, enable those damn notifications.